for Bryant. Practice all week, didn't get to take a Grayson, practice. we're leaving. <laughs> Remember, feed the dogs twice a day and give them plenty of water. We'll be back on Sunday. Thanks again for watching the dogs. All right, bye Aunt Kristen, Uncle Jeff. See you when you get back. How do you even know this guy again? I've told you like 10 times. I worked for him about a year ago. Trust me, he's got more than enough cash to go around. Yeah, well, he better have enough to fill these bags. So where's the safe at? We're gonna have to look for it. You check that side of the house, I'll check this side. I thought you said no one else lives here. I did! Oh really? Then who's this? I don't know. Just set him down. We're not gonna hurt anyone. You're not gonna hurt anyone. Kane! We can't just let him go. Look, just tie him up and let's leave. I ain't leaving till I get what I came here for. Safe's in the garage. You know what? Fine. Open the safe and I'll tie him up. I'll be there in a sec. <sighs> Please, just let me go. I swear I won't say anything. Just let me go. Please, I'm begging you. Troy? What'd you just say? Troy. That's your name, right? How'd you know my name? You used to be my best friend. James? Uh-huh. I haven't seen you in, like, forever. Since I moved. Yeah, it's been a while. Now would you like to explain what you're doing here? What I'm doing here? I'd like to know why your uncle fired me. What? Look, I'm sure he- Go! Defend him. Do you remember the day we got baptized? Do not bring that up. We were kids and I could care less. Care less? You still believe in that stuff? A father wouldn't let this happen to their son. What happened to me? God is just and upright and forever faithful. I don't care what you say he is. He abandoned me. Troy, he didn't abandon anyone. You abandoned him. I don't even care who abandoned who. I'm gonna get what I came here for. And what's that gonna solve? It doesn't even matter. 
Your uncle had no right in firing me, along with ten others. Troy, you don't know what you're doing. Why are you here? <laughs> this isn't right. Troy, tell me what this is accomplishing! Oh, just shut up! What are you getting out of this? Vengeance. How much longer? It's almost open. Bingo. All right, let's pack up the money and leave. You know what? I left the bag by the door. I'll come back. Hurry! Let's get out of here! You honestly thought you could escape? There's no way out. Troy might have gave in, but I'm not. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Dear James, I'm not sure if you'll be glad to hear from me or angry, but I'm writing you this letter anyways, because I've changed. Remember when I said how God was the one who abandoned me? Well, I wish I could take it back. I was the one who abandoned him. As said in Colossians 3.13, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. That someone was me. There isn't one day that goes by in this cell that I don't regret my mistakes. Since all I've had is time, I've used it to get right with God. He's blessed me with more than I could imagine, most importantly safety as I walk through this broken road. The guards were even nice enough to give me a Bible, and believe it or not, I've brought at least 20 guys to Christ. Lately, I've been beginning to wonder if my failures are a blessing in disguise to shine a light in the darkness, not only for me, but for others as well. I'm not sure what happened to Cain or where he's at, but I pray for him every day. And every day, my heart's gotten heavier and heavier. And that's why I'm writing you this letter. I'm asking for your forgiveness, James. I understand it's not always easy to forgive someone for what they've done, so I'm fine if you don't. But I just wanted to let you know what I've learned. It's through this journey we all take. There will be pain, hardships, there will even be death. But in the end, the light will guide you home.